In this video, we're going to walk through how to install Racket for scheme programming in Windows 11. So the first thing we need to do is download Racket, and that is available at racketlang.org. And you'll see the download in the top right corner. Select the platform that you're installing for and click on the download, and it'll take a few seconds to complete downloading. And once it's done downloading, you can launch the executable. It'll probably ask you if you're sure, you can just say yes. And then the setup will be launched. So go ahead and keep the defaults in these, and then you may have a better idea of what, what it is you want to install, but it'll take a few minutes to install. And then when it's done, click Finish. So to launch it, you're gonna to want to launch Dr. Racket, not just Racket. Racket itself is just a REPL, which if you don't understand that, once you start learning Scheme, you will. Dr. Racket is more like an IDE, so we'll launch that, and it does take a few seconds to launch the first time you do it. And so here, Dr. Racket is open. What's nice about Dr. Racket is you have a window at the top to write code, and then you have a REPL at the bottom where you can execute the code in the top half of the editor, or you can also do some things down here at the bottom. Now you'll notice I'm getting a, a warning, no language chosen. So to fix that, we're gonna to go to language, choose language, and you may need to click on one of these options to get the show details button to pop up. And then once you do down here at the bottom, there's this option to always use the same Lang line. I do Lang scheme for my CSC 240 class. That's what you're gonna to wanna to use. There are a lot of other languages that you can use as well. You can also have it just use the most recently used line and if that's fine as well because the first time you run it, you'll do scheme. And as you change and use other languages, then perhaps then it'll follow there. So click OK. And now you'll notice this says Lang Scheme. And I still have that warning at the bottom, and that's because we haven't refreshed the REPL. So if I click Run, that'll refresh it, and now it knows that the language is Scheme. Now to verify everything's good, I'll write some code. I'll define x to be 10. I can define a, a function. I'll call it half of. And you'll notice that nothing happens even when I run, and that's because I've only defined things. So I can see what x is, I can add three to x, and I can get half of 42 or half of x. So it looks like this works. And one of the nice features of Scheme is I can add code in the editor to test my code. So I can say half of 14, half of x times four, and when I run this, this will get if anything that's here will get evaluated. So these nothing happens because they're defined, but here these are things that I can, it can actually evaluate it, and so it'll do that each time I click run. Now, if I define something down here, I can use it, but then when I run again, you'll notice that Y is undefined because it loses anything you do here. So anything you want to save, you'll always want to do at the top. I would recommend pinning this to the taskbar so that you always have access to it. And let's save our definitions. You can save them wherever you want, but I will just do them here in my programming directory. Notice that this is example.scheme. So if I close scheme, I'll go back to where I saved that and you'll see the file here, example scheme. Now, if I double click this, it opens up Dr. Racket and then I can click run and it'll run my code. So this is a really nice way to test your code and anything you put in here again, since it's evaluated, you can always just open it up and run it as is. But of course, that doesn't stop me from continuing to work with it in the REPL. So that's a quick introduction to downloading and running Racket in Windows 11.